Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So this week I wanted to do something Easter fun for our Easter and something colorful and with a little flare. I have some Swarovski crystals on top of some ornate Easter eggs for my nail look and I think it turned out really great. Minus the accent nail, I have a chicky on the egg. So, bad news is I had done my entire hand and what do you know, I deleted the video before I saved it. I'm devastated, you guys. Like, this mani was very difficult for me, too. Like, this was not an easy mani. Like, I've, like, doing my right hand, it was... It was very tedious, like the all because like you have to work fast to um, make sure there's no surrounding images around the egg and to tape it off the stamper all around the edge of the egg. It, it's just you have to work so fast, and it, and I had to do several swatches for just one nail, and that was for like the majority of my nail, so including my left hand and. It was a really long video. I was gonna have to edit a lot out, and here, you know, I even deleted deleted the entire thing, and I'm so devastated. But you know, it is what it is, and you know, I'm I'm gonna miss out on showing you guys how I got the chicky. As I didn't want to just redo the entire hand after you know tediously working with this mani, and then. I'm um, gonna if you're a fast stamper, if you can get to this or if you can make decals, like do that. It'll be much easier. In but I like for some reason it was just I don't know from from the idea to execution, it was just also kind of a long process because I was very overwhelmed with what to even do. I got the hair nudo plate L033. I used the rise and shine by uh, simple colors it's a newer polish and I said I was going to rotate my polishes and I think I, I tried and it's so much more difficult to do than it is to say this was a part of a three for five deal I mean three polishes for five dollars so I, I'm just really <laughs> feeling awful about this and, and the fortunate thing is is that the one nail that I will show you guys it's pretty much the same technique as the rest of the nails it's just you're grabbing different eggs from the plate or different image and I'm just double stamping with the crystal on top so if you can double stamp fairly easily like the only thing is just surrounding the egg now if you don't mind having the surrounding images around the egg then that's that's fine then that'll be a different look but I just really wanted to focus on having um, an ornamental type of mani for spring that's Know, colorful so let's get to the design um, you know don't mind my nail it is this polish does stain I have my peel off base coat so I guess I can't believe that this happened but it is what it is and I'll just have to Just learn from my mistake next time and just be extra sure not to delete my video. There's like a little bump for my peel off base coat on my ring. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for this to dry. Try to clean up around the edges here. But it stains so bad that you know, it, I have clean edges, but it looks like I don't. The one thing why I don't like about these, like more gem, gem tone colors. I went over that one this area right here several times and just it doesn't want to clean up so I've pretty much stained that area but 
no matter how many times I go over it. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I went ahead and put a second coat and I used some Drip Dry by Sash V. I left it in the other room, but if you can see, like, it's dry, but my fingerprint is still on there. I'm just gonna continue on. For the ring finger, or the index finger, I used this design, and that's this egg over here next to the bunny with glasses. This part right here just really gotta be really quick and for some reason it's already drying I don't know this polish isn't that old so I'm just gonna try to see if this will work it might because my polish is still not completely it's still somewhat tacky And that's why, because this is going to be a video where I don't speed up my work, just so I can talk through this one design and my thoughts regarding the process and whatnot. So it's really cute just on its own. So. For those of you who are like, I do not have time for that, you know, for all that jazz then yeah that's okay this is just fine and yeah I got a little flaw right there but at this point I'm just really done you guys I don't know if I mean I can't say that enough like I just want to take a break and have a good weekend like you guys and it's a beautiful look to have and I really enjoy it it was somewhat worth it I just um want to share with you guys the struggle that I had with this one. Um, and then so I'm going to clean that off. I'm just... And then I'm going over with a glittery gold. Um, you don't have to. Any gold would probably be alright, but I just chose like a glittery gold where the pink could still shine through I just thought it was just a cute very cute way of highlighting the design with the colors I chose so and especially the older I don't know if I like the way this egg stamped, but um, it doesn't have to be perfect, like, because it's a double stamp, so the image, oh my gosh, I'm out of frame. was a little off to the side more than I wanted to be and I was afraid of that just because but um I mean who's gonna notice that anyways right and because I redid this finger probably like a second time I'd have extra staining around my cuticle so just watch out for that if you are man if you if you're able to manage through Oh, I got a Swarovski crystal right here. What you can do is just dab it in the center if you choose to have one. If not, the this look is complete on its own. You know, it's very adorable. And just 
dab my finger on my tongue just so you can pick it up. I have a wax stick on its way so that way I can and then just let it set. Just don't move it. You can like turn it this way towards you, your nail, as much as you can to see if it's centered enough and it looks the way you want it to. And then, I mean, you don't have to use ice. I mean, you can use the top coat that you're gonna use. And make sure you float this one. Last In my last video, I was a little too confident with my brush, my first brush stroke and ended up smearing my design, so on one of my nails, my panda nails. This is such a girly, flared out design for Easter and spring in general. I'm just gonna let this dry. Actually, I'm gonna go get my drip drops. So I didn't top coat over the crystal because I do like the way it glints in the light. Um, not so much that well here, but uh, if you do coat over it, it will stay longer. So if you're heavier with your hands like I tend to be, um, you could top coat it, it will still look great. But I'm just going to try to like re-coat around the edges maybe once for um, the next couple of days just so they wear better. And then this is drip dry I got from my grocery store for like a few dollars. And um, I tried using this before stamping and I think it messed up my stamper. So I definitely put a lot more wear onto this thing, my big blue, and I'm gonna probably have to get another one. But just go ahead and, I do like a couple of drops, one at the base and one, but just for good measure. And it's supposed to dry quickly now it will dry to the touch after a couple minutes but it won't be completely dry it just speeds the process up so it's not like sash fee all the way in fact i think april stevens with the with a sparkle she did a video on comparing drip dry with sash fee and another tap coat out the door and this was like the runner-up to sash fee so but um I'm gonna let this dry, put some cuticle oil on it. Because my cuticles need it, that's for sure. With They've been through a lot this session for my nails. And let's zoom out. But um, that is the final look, you guys. You know, um, for, you know, for the accent nail, you don't, you can use the image that I used. You can use the image that I used in, in a pink. I thought about that. Like, oh, it would have been maybe just as cute if I had all the same colors instead of just like, like, uh, you know, some of you might, I hope it doesn't look like it's sticking out too much. But it looks really beautiful, you guys. And I hope you give this look a try or something similar. And you thumbs up my video and subscribe if you haven't already so you can see more nail tutorials like this. Um, it's just a beautiful Easter egg nail tutorial. And um, like I said, I'm really sorry that I wasn't able to get all the nails. And because of that, I wanted to talk through instead of speed the video up just so it wouldn't be too short of a video. And, um, you know, I do hope you get this plate. It's really, really nice. So, you know, very fun and very cheery like a 
very happy with the way it turned out. Just a little too much effort for what it is, I think. Um, unless if you enjoy doing your nails like as a nail per a nail girl, like it wasn't too bad. Like I'm patient with things like this, so I think it's worth it. But if you're a little less patient, um, maybe just stamping the egg on there with whatever and then maybe once it's on the nail you can go in with tape over it to try to like remove the extras. I think that might have been a little quicker. We just also have to make sure that the polish is completely dry. Like sometimes, you know, I can I can't wait and I the polish is not completely dry. Alright, well anyways you guys I hope you liked my video and my design for the week and um you guys will have a good week ahead, okay? I will see you in the next one. Bye.